Why this? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Farron's Fate. Uh, the background I put in here, the native resolution wasn't big enough. Uh, but this is a pretty fun game. It's a dungeon crawling roguelike, similar to Binding of Isaac, except you have uh, melee weapons, and you pair that with different magic spells that you're able to pick up. A lot, a lot of potential, kind of a weak aesthetic. Um, here you have normal run, which just randomly generates a seed. Then you have the uh, seeded run, which allows you to tell the computer which seed you would like if you're doing like a challenge with your friends or something like that, seeing who can get the farthest. And then you also have the uh, challenge run, which has a variety of options. The boss rush is good to practice, uh, so you don't waste your time getting to level 3 and dying because you've never seen the boss. And then there's the uh, time attack and the infinite run. So we'll get into it. I'll hit uh, all the review points, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. Alright, here we are. Uh, controls are pretty good in this game. I gave them an 8 out of 10. You can run around, smack things pretty good with spacebar. Um, even with a controller or a keyboard, it feels equally uh, usable. And you can hold shift to strafe and control to like spin around in place, which comes in relatively handy with more advanced tactics. Um, for the fun factor, I've given the game a 6 out of 10, which is above average. Yeah, baddie bitch. Doosh! <laughs> um, there are certain things that make it feel just a bit too clunky to be like, wow, I'm having a great time, this is an extremely polished game. I do think that it needs uh, a bit more put into it, but the base uh, is extremely well built and with a bit of polish, it would be one of those games that I'd be like, you play Binding of Isaac? Dude, check out Farron's Fate. This shit's awesome. You can get a, <clears throat> a lot of different items obviously and they do show on your character which is super cool hedgehog's curse that's like a nod to a uh, rogue legacy they have a well and sonic but <laughs> rogue legacy they have a lot of cool um references like that i know they have one that's like the master sword where you shoot a beam if you're at full health it's it's really really cool um unfortunately the gameplay still suffers uh, on the fun side just because it feels a little bit clunky um, The controls are there. I'm not sure why it has to do a little bit with like enemy sprites and stuff When we see the bigger rats that I get to a little bit later, you'll notice that they're not actually uh, 3d like you can hit the back of their head unless they're laying on their back or some shit. I don't know I'm gonna keep this bubble shield though Yeah <clears throat> Oh, I guess I have to kill all these guys uh, anyways, the uh, replayability and the difficulty both scored extremely high, uh, despite the fun factor being a little bit on the low side. The difficulty I've given a 9 out of 10, and replayability is definitely a 10 out of 10. I would like to see a bit more variation with the creatures, but the item variation is so massive that uh, it really makes you not mind playing through. I'm gonna buy this, actually. Defense up, speed down and it shows on my character, so super, super cool. Um, innovation, I've given a 2 out of 10. I've seen this game, something like this game, a lot. It does make small improvements, such as, uh, you know, the constant use of the items as the spells, which I prefer to Binding of Isaac's, like, one-time use items or really long recharge items. This, this basically makes you rely on it. Um, well, your sword more so, but <laughs> definitely your items as well. Um, <clears throat> the aesthetic is a little bit disappointing to me. Like, if you give a good look to the main character, it, it really looks like something that um, didn't have too much time spent on it, if I'm frank about it. Which, you know, it could be like somebody who's not that great um, at pixel art, but if that's the case, then I'd suggest commissioning somebody. Because, yeah, the bats and the frogs really make the uh, the aesthetic suffer, in my opinion. It doesn't have its own style, particularly. It feels like a, a lower res Binding of Isaac, honestly. Reach up. Ooh, this could be useful. 
It does have its own things like this, you know, um, because it's melee based. It offers a lot of different potential, uh, which is good to me. <clears throat> but that's not going to save it uh, from how it looks. <laughs> you know, it's good, um, but it's not quite average for me. So I've given it a 4 out of 10. Magic up. Ooh, that's pretty good. I've given the music a 7 out of 10. It's a fucking jam. Ooh, look at this guy. Suckle. This... Uh, the level music and the boss music and all of the music, really. If you wanted to get a 10 out of 10, maybe something like, uh... When you get different equipment, the song changes a little bit, like... A la Loof Rousers or something like that. But overall, it's extremely serviceable and something that I don't mind listening to for, uh, three to four hours at a time, which is about the amount of practice that I put in to, uh, become halfway competent. I was just dying on the first level over and over. It's, it's a pretty brutal game, if I'm to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I keep talking about the gameplay. The music I've awarded a 7 out of 10. Extremely, extremely good. Um, you know, not something I'd put on my iPod particularly. I saved that for an 8 or a 9. But, uh, it, it'll do the job quite nicely. That boss song was nice and panicked, and then during the, the clearing of the stage, it's also pretty much a jam, basically. So, uh, sound effects, I feel like they suffer. Uh, really, listen to this barrel. Sounds like a stick breaking. It's like, you know, I want to feel some oomph behind it. The bombs sound good, um, so it's not a complete loss, but I feel like some more work could be done indeed. So I've given the sound effects a 4 out of 10. The story and the lore, I've given a 0, a zero out of 10. Um, they do give you an item collection sort of thing, so you can see every item that you found, which I think is pretty cool, obviously adds to the replayability, but they don't say anything about the item. There's no bestiary, so I can't learn about these animals that, um, frankly aren't that interesting, but I might like to know a little bit more about, like, how that rat got deformed and why it throws up everywhere, and this game doesn't offer any of that, it just kind of drops you into level, it's like, alright, do the thing now! Which is fine, um, but I feel like put giving it the story would be uh, the extra mile. Although, you know, it could be added, you know, if the game is updated, I'd be glad to update the review as well. But as it stands currently, the story is non-existent. Just a little something for the bestiary. It could help a lot. Alright, so we're doing the thing, clearing everything. I've got a pretty good synergy going with my little bubble and my mana sword, so we're able to, to resist some hits, which is extremely important, especially because I'm moving so slow. I've got a snail buff and the knight's armor, which, uh, you know, I'm doing more damage and stuff, but also moving slower and slower. <laughs> so really cool. You get a different run every time. Again. I can't tout the replayability of this game enough. Like, if you're looking for something that you can sit down and put, like, maybe 20, 40, 60 hours. I won't say hundreds, because there aren't enough items to quite do that yet. But if it is updated, then, yeah, definitely something that would way, way, way prove it's worth more than a movie ticket. Especially with the movies that are being made nowadays. Oh my god. Don't those bats look a little doofy? The rats and bats look a little doofy? Like, man. I don't know. I'd really like for it to be, uh, just polished up a little more. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I think I've got some good synergy going with my items. Uh, I've got the Hedgehog's Curse, which is increasing my defense. As well as the Knight's Armor. Um... Oh, there's some Knight Leggings. Wonderful! Speak of the devil, I say! Speed's going down even more, but that's just fine. <laughs> Level design, I've decided to give a 6 out of 10. It is above average. Um, however, it just kind of feels like Binding of Isaac. Also, one of the criticisms I had for... Fuck. Kill, hurt myself. Ah, here's boss. Another boss? This is our second boss, yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, same criticism that I had for Binding of Isaac. The level design just feels kind of wonky, which I understand. Um, I'm pretty impressed by the seed ability. I really wish Binding of Isaac had something like that. That is uh, something that earns some innovation points in my book. However, it uh, yeah feels a little misplaced, misshapen. And here we'll uh, go back and get some mana potions and have a look in that last room. All of Binding of Isaac. Because, uh, yeah, you gotta scrape. You gotta sc Oh my god, I'm glad we didn't pass this up. What's this? Jar of flies? No, I keep my bubble. I like my bubble. So yeah, overall, Farron's Fate scored, uh, relatively high, 56 out of 100. It is above the average, though only slightly. There's a lot that could be done to improve the game, and I do hope to see some action taken, um... It's still on green light, which, you know, if you guys would like to support, I would highly suggest because the dev was pretty cool giving me a key. Um, I know you can eat these mushrooms. Let's see what happened. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Shit. I hate it. Why this? Help! Ah! So... 56 out of 100 translates to a uh, 2.8 out of 5 stars, which is pretty good if you ask me. Almost 3 out of 5. Um, yeah, like I said, I'd like to see some things done, but overall, I'm enjoying my time with Farron's Fate. I would suggest uh, anybody who likes the look of it go pick it up as well. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, ooh. And don't subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.